being a black here, folks, and earthquakes, basically a lot of high fours and fives. So not a lot of piddlers, you know, nothing down around three something, which is really not nothing, you know, but what we're used to lately, that's all I'm talking about. So kind of there's today and pretty much starting there. South Dakota got another 3.3 today. Never sitting in Tonga. Tonga wasn't very deep. If you're the, used to down there, and then here's grass real fast. And basically, grass showed up Papua New Guinea. Basically, same region. New Zealand. Pacific Ocean is getting some action of it. South Pole. Antarctic skipping again a little bit and a little quake. And the rest of the Marianas, Korea and China will show some stuff. Philippines got some of it. KC Antarctica again. That quake looks a little thicker down there, so lower. Here if it got me going since I went ahead and went and got this. Let's refresh and see if they give us one that we can see. This is why I figured hit the video and make a video because I didn't probably see something since they don't want us to see, so let's take a look. So C2 in black and white where we usually get to see everything and basically yes, still farting his ass off really big today, son, and there's huge CMs there. I don't know if that'll wave towards we'll have to watch spaceweather.com and see what's going on there. We got V action there. And we got a really nice video here. Let's show you this. Okay, so this is taken at 1436 UT and then basically the real normal I mean what they normally show us we can see and then last night you had that there. We had a real good look at that there last night, so let me show you that. And before we go to that, let's just show you how dramatic as hell and how fast is the material and you're going to see the sun start to flame like crazy and that ain't it folks so i appreciate the friend give me the f up <laughs> last night the idea that he, the sun is effing its ass off and yes it is and check the clock it's not tumbling too fast usually they play these videos a lot faster and uh you get an idea of how fast stuff moves around in and out up by the sun and how we get that holographic signs down here on earth gives us some pretty freaky images now as I move up you're gonna see the sun going crazy folks and just within a short amount of time and this is just kind of flopping around about 10 minutes or a minute you know it's not going too fast about a minute every four or five seconds it's flapping so we get a good view of all the stars and stuff moving in the V action moving in and out and the sun yeah, is going check that out is that wild or what humongous flares folks that's on the 14th and I think this will keep playing close into the 15th I don't know if this gets to the 16th look at that that is just incredible And try to move up and down and then you see the full extent but I'm going to the max of what the what it goes just going crazy and let me show you the clock ain't going that damn fast it's going a little faster but not as fast as we usually get blitzkrieg with so they're starting to let us see stuff and the sun has just been for the last few days it's just been going crazy so I'm back to the 13th I guess so from the 13th on we've just been getting Sun hell bent for leather up there. All kinds of flaring. So it's flaring its ass off. We're getting a hell of a show up there. Check that out. I think that was a comet that hit. You can play back. And uh yeah, that scientist having that uh study of comets hitting the sun and saying they don't well maybe in the past there was an electrical current or something that was enough to 
plasmoid them away or something, but there ain't much doing diddly now. It's getting it big time. Plus it's in the supergiant, so the idea there's lots of material that's slamming into the sun all the time. Pretty awesome, dramatic. It's the most I've seen it. I've been watching it since the spring. That's it's pretty awesome the last few days. So just when we thought we were going to get CME flares down, I mean, to get the energy here at Earth, it looks like there's a new batch coming or going somewhere because this is just wild. I don't care if somebody watches all the time. This 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 year footage here is just something else. From the 12th, it looks like on to the 14th we've seen. Just incredible footage. So I'm going to go to the other one where basically normally we get hit and stuff too and it's showing some stuff today too. So let's go check this out. And basically we're going to show you the 16th shows pretty much that the idea that they start trying to cover up the idea that what we've seen on the 15th, on the 14th and 15th of showing that video and showing uh, the flaring object because basically they covered it up there. Now on the 15th, you know, these, these are still full of, we're not at the motion anymore, but you will see, check out all this stuff, straight in line off of that flare in the sun. The sun is flaring so much that it's exposing stuff on the color shot that they didn't know they had to cover up. There was a big ass flare. And then, uh, all this other stuff. Hell exposed from just basically the flare being bright and them basically figuring it out. Normally on the red, it gets blocked. So we can see all this stuff. Check that out. A lot of stuff is, uh, and here you go, you can see that the idea that this is reversed. This should be behind. So we got some interesting, uh, yeah, let's go too, so it should be behind. And yeah, I'm pretty damn sure it's behind. So we got this blown up a thousand percent here. So there's part of that CME, and like I say, you can see stuff all the way through the top part of the CME and that becomes the interesting is the idea is this stuff coming in and causing the CME you know bombardment after bombardment or is it just stuff that's in line for holographic action because the Sun sure puts those images out in Rigel Cantera speed so there you got that on also there so the idea that very interesting exposure tonight. And like I showed you, that this theater shot was from the 15th. Okay, so that's all part of a lot of stuff that we were seeing. And then the 16th, they're showing us a lot because either they blotched it out or the idea that right now that that flamer that we've seen cruising across, nope, there it is. So there's blown up a thousand percent right now today on the 16th. Just knock down and get that time. There you go on the 16th, and so you know that's the sun. And from this shot, both of these core shots, it kind of shows that the sun is not really flaring that much. And <clears throat> I guess slowing down a little bit from what we've seen from the 12th through the 14th. So it's still there cruising around on the 16th. So that's blown up a thousand percent to be able to see that. Notice the separation, so we're going to have a B behind shot, and you'll see Venus will be the biggest thing, and Mercury will be the smallest thing, and then A head shot, so let's get ourselves in between the sun again. Okay, smack dab in the middle of the sun at a thousand percent, move over to the right, this stuff is behind, let's make sure that I got it, it's behind, straight behind. Some action at a thousand percent down there to 16th at 1900 hours. So, this is pretty fresh stuff because it is right now. Which, now I'm getting a confusion here because, yeah, okay, 119. So, this is like only an hour old. 
So let's move up and see the sun. I mean, what's on the right hand of the side and behind H1. So blown up. Let's look at that object one more time to the left. So this is. So pretty much more than likely. That could be Mercury there, being the smaller item, and that being Venus or Jupiter far off. So let's get a better look down, down pop it down to 400% real fast. And then you get the idea that that could more than likely be, oh. So pretty much uh, Venus should be the bigger one here. And something small like Mercury could even be right there in the shadow of Venus because they're supposed to be pretty darn close together right now. So I would pretty much say that that's good possibility that that's Venus and Mercury, the little shadow there. And very interesting stuff that's big and bright up behind more than likely because the biggest thing we always should see should be Jupiter and then the humongous thing we got back up in there outside of Jupiter, so it's an hour earlier, the A head shot, and you get, we have some very good light, so the idea that we get some real good images, that's deep left corner of A head one. So that's our back door. The earth should be somewhere in there between here and the sun. The sun's over there and the earth should be somewhere in there. Because let's show you the map again. So like I say, we see the sun. That's our right hand side of our shot cut like that. So the earth should be over here somewhere on this A head shot. So let's check it out again. So the sun's over there, so the earth's got to be somewhere over here, and lower, so we're somewhere in here, so we are in some interesting territory. Either we're lucky that we're up here in the clear somewhere, between here and the sun somewhere, or the idea that we are in some interesting stuff, and maybe more than likely the meatballs and Neptune and Uranus, Jupiter from behind us, and stuff like that. So... In that mind thinking, the idea that this could be Jupiter there, it's always going to be the biggest thing you're going to see, biggest and brightest in the area. So let's look at, I'll, I'll bring up a, uh, since we've already looked at behind, let's bring up a uh, graph and see uh, what the whole the constellations or anything look like for tonight. So that's what the moon should look like. There's what's going on with your center. It should be there, and the idea that more than likely it's there on the North Pole, and then the idea that, let's see what kind of movement we got on the South Pole again, and yep, big time, so, and they're even throwing an error on there showing us that the idea we got big movement to, what would it be, North, South, East, and West, I believe that's North, I think that's Australian stuff, yeah, that should be North, so then we're getting a nice, uh, the western slide, west slide, on the tail of, the, of our axis. So we're sliding west on that, and we're sliding southeasterly on that. So that's the kind of a axis turn we're getting, folks. Southeasterly to westerly. Westerly on the tail. Southwesterly. It's going to be south no matter what because it's bottom, but the idea it's going westerly there and going easterly up there, southeasterly on the top. So to go to RT Solar Im Image and see those CMEs coming in, they got maps for you. I'll show you on that. Project when that's going to come, and then you got Australia. It's got the soft spot and the ring of fire. So Hawaii did get a quake today, probably from that week, that week's thinness. We 
we've already looked at this, so let's hurry up and get the disclosure in and also get that. So there's Jupiter, sky chart North America and legal, dis legal disclosure.